These prophetic words come from a variety of sources. Please take every word before the Lord for confirmation. Good morning, I'm Rachel Milligan and this is First Fruit Taz. I do have a word for you this Sunday morning. Masculinity, a thing of the past. When resistance abounds and guns are touted as the new thing to wield in faith, my favour rests only upon those willing workers who opt for peace and love. Joy in abundance is delivered. Something's happening, a slight shift in the natural. You can form an alliance. It will benefit my children, my remnant, my chosen few to stand strong, arms linked in peaceful resistance. To be, to bleed, to sing the new song. Babies, toddlers, the process of learning to walk is a natural one. For my children too long have I waited to see those precious first steps taken in faith. Crumble, crumble and come to me to be rebuilt. I make strong warriors of faith and humility, for it takes restoration. It is imperative, my child, that soon my willing workers take the bull by the horns. No longer a waiting game, but a slide to shoot my living waters and bring unrest. Here I had a visual of um, a water slide just shooting water out. Do not put your faith in guns. When my son pours out his heart over willing workers and lost lambs bleat to be lifted up against the crazy backdrop, to be brought crashing down indignantly, only to rise up from ashes and sing my praise. So go out, let my remnant speak of the good things I have to offer those who turn their heads and look with faith and humility towards my pure and unsullied light. There is a scripture to go with this word. Matthew 26:52 NIV Put your sword back in its place, Jesus said to him, for all who draw the sword will die by the sword. For those who prefer King James Version, Then said Jesus unto him, Put up again thy sword into his place. For all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. This word also brought to mind lyrics from a sting song. Um, The song is Englishman in New York. Takes more than combat gear to make a man. Takes more than a license for a gun. Confront your enemies, avoid them when you can. A gentleman will walk but never run. I think it's really important to note that God highlights the issue of masculinity relating to guns and I believe that he's saying that a gun does not make a person masculine. Um, I really don't want to add or take away from this word but I think yes, certainly seek the Lord on this and don't shoot the messenger I have held guns in my hand in the past Um, I'm not biased either way I believe the power is in people and in prayer not in guns whatever way you want to take that message okay I really do pray that this video blesses you God bless have a beautiful day Holy Father, I thank you for placing this video before those you intend to receive it. If this video blessed you, be sure to share, like and subscribe. Financial support is welcome and donations can be made by selecting the link in the details box below this video.